Hello everyone, it's Roid Man, and welcome back to the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. Last time, we solved a difficult riddle, and now, we are in the fourth area of the forest. So let's see what this forest contains to us. As it looks like more of a spider's den than anything else. Oh, these guys. Careful with these guys, they fly. Like the ghosts, but this time they actively try to go after you. So, be careful with that. Jumping up. Um, I'm gonna leave you right here because I'm not 100% Yeah. Let's see, what's up here? Okay, so we know what's up there. And here comes the difficult part. It's dark. Well, a lot of the area is dark. Fire illuminates the dark. Yeah, you gotta be very careful. Especially when there's a bird like that flying in the darkness. So I'm gonna leave that. There's a perch right there. Kill these birds in the sky. Collect these leaves that are also in the, the sky. I think there's one over here as well. Yep. And let's see here. Okay, there is that. So. This level only becomes easier once you get, like, the lantern and get everything lit. And I mean, don't mean, like, lit as in the terminology, but more or less saying something on fire. I don't know, like, that just became something, like, kids just say lit and I never understand it. Lit means to light something on fire, so I don't know why. But, yeah, we're gonna just light up this, and yep, this is gonna be our main gimmick here. And luckily, fire does keep the monsters away, except for a pig if, we've, if we encounter one. That was close. Um, what was the whole point of that? Okay, I'm gonna keep you here for a moment, because I think I saw something over the... You're not gonna die me while I go ch investigate something. As long as okay, nothing out off that cliff. Fortunately, we can't really see in darkness. So hopefully, we didn't need that lantern for anything special. There is a. I use extreme caution here. Okay, so there's a lantern. So we can just use this, jump up here, grab ourselves a light, and like I said, use caution, fall down on this thing, and yeah! Okay, so grab, grab lantern. Jump up. Did I just lose the prince? Where did the prince go? I just lost the prince! Where did I lose the prince? the prince even went. Uh, 
Okay, so the current's box is that way, but... Let's see what happens when we make the current's box that way. Oh, thank goodness! Found the prince! And we lost the prince again? Where did the... How do I keep losing the prince? Okay. Now, let's jump up. Now have the prince with us. Ignite fire. And there's actually something I just noticed up there. Yep. So, ignite fire. Put you here. There's no way for us to jump up there, so how about we just continue forward? Okay, there's these guys. Um, you know what? I feel a lot more safer if the prince just walked down here. There we go. How about lots of things we can can walk over this way. I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and safe. Which it is. So let's see what happens when we bring the prince with us. I'm wondering why there's a fire... Okay, there's a mushroom. special through this area. And we learned something else. Touching the moonlight will cause the wolf to return to wolf form. And we can't continue without the prince, so this is where we have to tell the prince to tr travel with us. And then we can turn back into our princess form. And that will be coming into play later. So, let's start off with this. That requires three people to the princess led the prince through a dark cave, despite her best efforts to carefully guide him. The ground that he was standing on collapsed. Prince! The princess seized his hand, but she could not lift him up in her current form. She could rescue him easily in wolf form, but if her hand still holding his turned into the wolf, she did know she was a monster. She just desperately tried to pull him up, her entire body shaking. Unfortunately, she couldn't do it any longer. She ran out of energy and unwillingly let go of his hand. Thump. Oh no! shouted the princess. She looked where he had fallen and saw him lying in a small, shallow hole. Her mind went blank and her heart filled with dread. But the prince soon sat up and waved. He was perfectly fine. 
The ground that had given way was hollow, so the prince didn't suffer any injuries. The princess felt relieved. But the princess looked at her hand, a feeble and tiny hand that couldn't help the prince. She began to feel uneasy about keeping him safe in the future. And we still have the prince with us. So let's see what happens when we continue forward. Oh, this friendly little guy! Wait. I don't sense any hostility from this monster. I wonder if I got closer to it. Yeah, I'm collecting that leaf. By the way, this monster will not throw us if we're in wolf form. So keep that in mind. So we'll continue on forward. And jumping up. We got two paths we can take. Unfortunately, I am not risking the prince's life with what monsters could be up here because of certain pig encounters. Okay, so that way's good. But what about the other way? Okay. Let's turn back into princess form and get ready to jump up there. Prince, you were supposed to jump up with me. Again! Jump it up. We'll jump up the other way. Okay, I want to make sure I get these leaves at least. And... Use extreme caution! This monster will not throw you... Yeah! Like I said, use extreme caution! So, I'm gonna turn into wolf form first. And get these leaves. So, what we wanna do is get in front of this monster when it turns around. For example, like this. That way, it'll throw us into a safe area. Unfortunately, there are monsters in this area. So I'm just gonna go up ahead, kill these monsters. Actually, I think it only takes two to kill the wing beasts. Making sure there's no other monsters. Um, is there something missing here? Okay. Think oh, now I see what I need to do here. Let's go get the prince. Because we now should be safe from any monster encounters. And we'll jump up. Careful of limitation of elevator, because as we learned previously, fall damage is a thing. Here, leave the prince right there to mind his own business. And jump to here. Which we still need to... Yeah, you can die. We can bring the prince up. Tell him to go forward. That way we can get the other one up. Tell him to go forward again. And he'll follow. This will be useful later. And now they're asking us to make a range jump. So use high caution on this. Like that. So far we're doing so good. Okay. Let me just put the prints right here and analyze this first. Okay. So we need to be right where that monster's going to turn. Uh, no, 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 no. That's a bad bird. 
Okay, let's go. And next time on The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince, we will continue on through the forest.